Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion. Not community remix. We are due for a random run. This should be interesting. Wow, that was a very quick turn of events that <laughs> I was about to say, wow, that last run was super good. I'm excited to have a good run here. Now it's more like, well, shit. It could be good, it could be amazing. Especially if we can get some more spirit hearts early ish here. Harlequin Baby is not a spirit heart, in case you haven't noticed. Blue Baby looks a lot like me when I don't have my glasses on. Same hairstyle, skin color's a little different, but, uh, you know, apart from that, superficial difference. We got a lot of similarities going on here. Yeah, so what's the most important thing as Blue Baby? Well, if we're gonna do Deal with the Devil meta, which I like to do, um, we're gonna wanna hopefully get an HP upgrade. We don't have too much control over that. But the thing we do have control over is just not taking damage. So let's try to make that happen for sure. I would love to somehow get a bomb on this floor because Tinted Rocks are so, so valuable as, uh, as Blue Baby. The fact that you don't start with the bomb as Blue Baby makes me very, very ornery. Not horny. That's a different kind of emotion. Ornery. Man, that is not the item that we were hoping for. We'll probably pick it up just because the tarot card could actually be useful. Uh, and the shot speed upgrade is not that bad. Most of the time I'd prefer not to take it, but... In this situation, maybe we get a tower card and that allows us to access that Tinted Rock or something. Alright. <laughs> Surprising. Let's hope that we can do this uh, without putting ourselves too much in harm's way. So you know what, I'm actually going to pick up this just so I don't Zelda it over my head by accident. It's the High Priestess. Alright, well the High Priestess is a good card. Are you serious with this shit? I don't know if we can use the High Priestess to break this Tinted Rock. I think I'm just going to head down to the next floor. And we'll save High Priestess as a, um, a card that we'll use to kill this boss as quickly as possible. So this boss trap room over here is a, a super good get for us. That's a live bomb. Not super thrilled about that. There's a, a speed upgrade on it. Not super thrilled about that either, to be honest with you. Uh, we've had a lot of opportunities to snag an extra Spirit Heart, and all of them thus far have fallen through. That doesn't necessarily bode well for our future here, but it's okay. Feels like our damage is, uh, you know, adequate. Again, not using High Priestess here. Gonna use High Priestess probably against our big boss on this floor. Even though, you know, it could very well be one of the bosses that we're gonna fight right here. I don't really have a logical explanation as to why I'm gonna do things that way. It just feels right, okay? And sometimes that's, uh, that's the most important metric of all. Please God, let me get a Spirit Heart somehow. This guy should be dead soon. That was a, an easy enough room. We didn't really gain that much as a result of it, but that's okay. Was there a penny in there that I missed? No, there's not. Okay. Alrighty. So, uh, the quest for the uh, missing spirit heart continues. Thank you, Harlequin Baby, for helping me to crowd control these flies a little bit more. I appreciate it. Second key. Means we may... Uh, well, we've got another familiar here. Means we may indeed go to our shop to try to um, basically buy a spirit heart. If we can find a spirit heart for five cents, I would pick it up because seriously, that could be the difference between b being able to take a deal with the devil that could really give us a great chance moving forward, or not being able to take that same deal with the devil and feeling kind of low as a result. Okay, this is extremely important. Let's put that down, walk in, walk out, walk in Phoenix. Two spirit hearts, big plays, and a golden chest I don't really want to open. Okay, this is, this is nice now. Monstro! We, we, we blew it. We didn't do any damage with High Priestess. It seems to happen a lot when I use High Priestess on our early bosses. You know, you have Pin, you have Monstro, you have the Widow. Bosses that jump around and are kind of difficult to hit uh, with High Priestess. Maybe we should save it for, uh, you know, the late game bosses. Though it doesn't really do that much damage against the late game bosses. It's helpful a little bit, but not uh, to an amazing extent. Alright, there's our deal with the devil, and we got a ton of spirit hearts in the last two rooms. We could take two deals with the devil here if we want to, and we do. We definitely, definitely do. So now we have the nail. This puts us in a very, very nice position. And we got the mark, which raises our damage pretty drastically as well. With one bomb, I am going to check uh, for the possibility of our secret room. It seems pretty likely where it would be. Put that down there. If it's nine cents, oh, it's more than nine cents. We actually can make our shop worthwhile. And imagine how awesome it would be if we got a nun's habit in here. We could just go play that uh, blood bank over and over and over and just get free spirit hearts via the nail. Let's see, though. 
Well, it's Book of Revelations. Is it worth 15 cents to pick up Book of Revelations to replace the nail? Absolutely not. I, I'm not saying I prefer the nail, but I prefer having money right now. So let's head down to the next floor, even though we could gamble a little bit, try to earn a key. I prefer to just kind of find the key later. So I would say this turned out really well. We got the same amount of HP we had when we started the last floor. Uh, way more damage. A much better spacebar item. Like, that really can't be overstated. A much, much better spacebar item. And we're in a very good position to continue improving as we move onwards, I would say. Obviously, this boss fight is pretty much trash city. I guess I... Uh, I guess I've pretty much resigned myself... Oh, that was almost terrible damage. Uh, I've pretty much resigned myself to the fact that we're just not going to gain anything from this. We could get a deal with the devil, but it's unlikely. Nor would I even necessarily want to pick up a deal with the devil. I'm not even sure how, like, nine lives would work as Blue Baby for three spirit hearts. Gonna be a longish fight here, but that's okay. When we got all our familiars and our own tiers working in unison, that speeds it up a little bit. Try to make sure that doesn't show up. Oh, you know what? We actually... <clears throat> pardon me. Can use uh, that to access a chest, which might give us a key, which might give us access to the shop. And maybe, just maybe, this... Uh, this pony, or that boss fight in general, ends up giving us something that actually improves our chances. Alright, two extra bombs. Hero font, super good. Uh, I, I don't see any reason not to use the hero font card now, considering we're going to be rolling on spirit hearts basically forever. So we'll take a pony, and uh, get that. Ooh, okay. At least we got some money out of it. Disappointed to not get a key, but that's okay. And anytime there's more consumables, we can just... You know, use, uh... Well, more consumables that are trapped over, like, the middle of the map. Or over a chasm or behind some rocks or something. Like this chest, for example. We can go back and get the pony. Although on this one, in particular, we're not actually going to need it. Because we're going to use, a uh, We're going to use a bomb anyway to access that tinted rock. Or no, we're not. We're just going to use the nail. Maggie's faith. You know, doesn't help us that much, but... I guess it does maybe give us one extra spirit heart per floor, which is not meaningless, but it's, uh, it's not my favorite. And that's okay. I'm happy to have it. That's a good item for us right here. So, unfortunately, we have the ladder. I guess I'm gonna get it. And we could have gotten a spirit heart, but I got a key instead so we could go to the item room. What do you mean there's still a chest back here? I didn't open one of the chests? Oh, there's another key. Um... Yeah, you know, the ladder's not that good, but I figured we'd buy it. We're, I'm feeling like we're going to be missing out on not having the pony, I guess, so I wanted to adequately accommodate, or, uh, I wanted to make, uh, so I'll compensate for that. That's the, the word I'm looking for. Thank you, English language. Spelunker's hat from our item room is actually pretty good. Will easily give us access to our secret rooms, where we can get enough money to buy whatever we want from the shop. Again... We could go back and buy a spirit heart from the shop. I might rather keep our money kind of safe. Want to make sure we have uh, every opportunity to buy shop items. Because we're looking for stuff like Nun's Habit. Anything to augment, uh... Well, one spirit heart for the curse room is an okay deal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is acceptable. Could become Guppy on this run. Kind of unlikely, but uh, I think it was worth it regardless. If nothing else, we've taken a deal with the devil item out of the pool, and it's a deal with the devil item we uh, almost certainly don't want. Second secret room over here, anywhere? I'd like to use a bomb to find it. Okie dokie. Let me to rehydrate here as we go find it. There's not too many locations. In fact, there's actually only two that I can see that we haven't been to yet. One will be this next room above us, and then the room adjacent to it. Yep. That was pretty up. Lies, come on now. Seriously! Well, that was well worth three bombs. Thanks a lot, Guppy's head. It's my own fault, but still. I like to uh, push the blame on the inanimate objects if ever possible. Sorry, pony. But hey, decent floor. Thank you, Maggie's Faith. Uh, our secret room is somewhere adjacent to that. And the problem is we're never going to get those uh, those audio cues ever again. So I hope we just get a bomb like right here. Alright. Well, we might have to abandon uh, all hope on this one. We can find the second secret room pretty easily. Uh, maybe we can do it. We'll see. 
let's not uh, go acting like our secret room hopes are dead just yet. In fact, even if they are, it's not a huge loss on this floor. All things considered. Careful. Starting to feel, you know, caves was pretty easy. Catacombs not shaping up to be too difficult thus far, but certainly the enemies are taking a lot. Oh, that was so bad. They're taking a lot more hits than uh, than the other ones. We don't have a bomb to use here. We could use the nail, but it doesn't make any sense. We'd rather just use it to get the damage here. And I think we will go to our item room right away. It's not like we have a reroll awaiting us or anything that we need to have pressure for, but I'm pretty sure our shop's going to have greed, or at least there's a, a reasonable chance that that's going to take place. And now we have a second key anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, you know what? We took Mom's knife on the last run. I won't take it on this run. You got me. I would love to have it, but we've made our bed time to lie in it. This is probably a shop. It is. We get the 9 volt. Allows us to have a uh, nail charge right off the bat. That's pretty nice. Uh, you know what? Let's buy our bomb as well. Mm, no, no, let's not. Let's instead play this judgment and see what we get out of it. I know some... There's always... There's people mad that I take Mom's knife. And then there's people mad that I don't take Mom's knife. It's okay. We can all live together in peace and harmony. I'm just trying to make for some different and engaging runs here. I, I can't be happy that uh, we ended up getting notched axe from that judgment. That's uh, That was bad. I could have maneuvered myself better here because I can break rocks. But uh, I'm, I'm also, you know, there's positives to getting notched axe from that judgment. Namely, you know, without a reroll, that was a relatively cheap way of getting a shitty item out of our shop pool. So hopefully our shops end up being better as a result. We're still hoping to pick up Nun's Habit. And, uh... You know, as floors go on, it becomes less and less likely that that's going to happen. Still, it could. And we're really hoping for a, uh, a deal with the devil on this floor. We didn't get one on the last floor, so we should have a good chance to get one on this floor. If Brimstone shows up, I'll take it. Don't get me wrong, but let's see what we've got here first. It's going to be easy Duke of Flies. I'm going to save both of our bombs because uh, I think we actually can find both secret rooms now. I remember where they are. We got lucky that there was like a dead end associated with one of them, which allows me to kind of just reverse engineer it. Super easy fight. Come on, give me like the Pact. Pact would be great. <laughs> it's like the Pact and Brimstone or more Guppy items. Well, certainly there's more Guppy items. I have no idea how Nine Lives works here. So we'll take this first, then we'll try Nine Lives. I was concerned that maybe something like that would happen. And yes, I'm going to try to become Guppy on this run. Sue me. We should be able to generate a ton of spirit hearts, and now we're not going to lose them. Fool card we can use later. I mean, we are going to we are going to lose them. We're going to try not to lose them, I guess is what I'm getting at. So I believe that one second secret room should be here. Here, then? All right, well, fuck everything. It must have been up. We still have a little bit more to explore, I think. Yeah, we haven't been here yet. Boss Trap Room is an easy uh, decision, for sure. More HP would be great. When I said, like, we won't lose Spirit Hearts anymore, I didn't mean we're not going to get hit. I meant more like, you know, Nine Lives has already showed up. Ugh. Yeah, Nine Lives has already showed up, so we're not going to, like, lose any more HP via Nine Lives anymore. Other deals with the Devil, yes, but uh, we're not going to lose, like, seven Spirit Hearts in one go. We're very close to becoming Guppy fairly early in the game, so I'm excited about that. Might as well. Hey, that's a really good tiers upgrade. We have an arcade. If we had the Polaroid, might consider going through with this. But we don't, so I'm not. Do we look for the secret room or the second secret room? I'm just doing the shrug in the background right now. We'll look for the second secret room just because we've pretty much guaranteed that it has to be above us. Fantastic. Another second secret room well worth three bombs. We'll be heading Dunewards now. To the right, I think. Yes, this is correct. Alright, and still so far so good. There's probably only going to be one good shop remaining. I'm hoping that we end up getting a... Uh, any augmentation. Oh, you know what? We already got... 9 volt. So, I'm getting a little greedy expecting uh, Nun's Habit as well. That being said, let's hope we get Nun's Habit as well. Because that would uh, really nullify dumb damage like I just took right there. Very happy to have a key. 
I have a feeling we can probably get some good use out of that, considering we had zero leading up to this floor. And our, uh, our item rooms have been pretty good for us, especially that Mom's Knife one. The best item I am not taking. If we had the Polaroid, we could probably uh, play this Demon Judgment, but as is right now, it's a little bit of a tough sell. You know what would make it easy? It's if we had the Nun's Habit. Sure, we would end up losing uh, our Eternal Heart playing it. Big effing deal. Eternal Heart is basically just a, a time-released uh, Spirit Heart here. I'm taking a little bit too much damage to, to feel super confident, but... We're very close to having a, a really, really powerful Blue Baby run, if we're not there already. No secret room here. Perfect amount of money to make our shop worthwhile, if we're gonna be able to make our shop worthwhile, though. I have a pretty strong suspicion we're gonna be dealing with greed. It's been a little quiet thus far. Even though I've lost like two spirit arts being a big idiot. Yep, had to happen. That was terrible. That was bad damage. That bomb's gonna help us out. I don't care if we get the Steam Sailor money. I guess I'm glad we got money, because, uh, you know, that's more versatile than the Steam Sail is. Can't remember if we looked inside of our uh, mob trap room. It might be a worthwhile decision to do. Well, we certainly have more spirit arts than we had when we uh, picked up nine lives, so I, I can still have good faith in that. We're gonna use the nail here. Happy to have the keys. Now our item room is accessible as well. Only problem is, uh, with one more shop remaining, Really banking on a nun habit. It would, I know I'm like harping on this like a one-trick pony or something like that, but it would be so useful for us to basically have halved damage for the rest of the run, or be you know pretty much invincible. I'm just gonna use Robo Baby here. Um, pretty much invincible up until the wound, which I mean, we, if we get it on the next floor, we won't have very much time to enjoy that invincibility. But you, you get the idea. No secret rooms yet. Still no secret rooms. I thought the game would want to make a fool out of me. Troll Engine would, uh, you know, immediately present me with double secret rooms or something like that. That was a choice dodge there. Second secret room right there. Haven't been great so far. There's our secret room. Sure, can the attack fly put out fires? No. Just gets burned. You know what happens to a fly when it's struck by fire? Same thing that happens to everything else. We really want to use a key on that golden chest? Not really. Ah, sweet, we got a spirit heart, basically. Which we were gonna get anyway. Made the decision to open it, and uh, sort of immediately regretting it. Was hoping we'd get some keys back for it, but whatever. It happens. Another spirit heart there. It's like, when these guys end up in a lane together, it's perfect Robo-Baby territory. The only thing is, we actually need uh, Robo-Baby to be in the proper position to get hits. But it saves us the guesswork of having to, like, get behind them, which I, I'd much prefer to do this, because it's just safer, or it feels safer, at least. Looks like uh, we're not going to be in the appropriate kind of cool down here on the nail to use the nail charge against the boss, unfortunately, but we do want to use the nail as much as possible, so it's not a big deal. Tears up. One of the best pills in the game, no questions asked. Not sure how I feel about a blood bank. Again, it's something that's got to wait until we have a permanent Polaroid invincibility before we even start to, you know, entertain the idea of doing that. More bombs and a spirit heart. Was kind of hoping again that we would actually have a tinted rock that gave us a key. Oh well. Hey, that works. We're just gonna take that one down to the next floor. And Gish, Gish is good. We've already got two familiars. Now we've added another one. Both of the last two runs have been very familiar heavy. Not that I am complaining in this situation, at least. You know what? Don't jump. Don't jump. I appreciate that. You actually, you're pretty tanky. You are a lot more HP than I give you credit for. There we go. I was trying to get Attack Fly to actually do some damage. It probably did a lot less than I'm, like, excited, at, or the disproportionately to the amount that I'm excited, but, uh, I enjoy it nonetheless. I'm very surprised that we got to deal with the devil here. Don't be Krampus. It's Krampus. God darn it. <laughs> This is okay. Oh, that's bad damage. But this is okay. I mean, you know, it is a damage upgrade. At the same time, I was really hoping to get uh, get my fingers into that guppy pie. Because if we could start generating some flies, that would really, really raise our DPS, which would really, really lower the amount of spirit arts we lost. Unfortunately, no such luck yet, but that's okay. 
So down to the next floor, we could get a deal with the Devil via the Fool card, but it's super unlikely considering we got one on the past two floors. But we do know that our shop is going to be useful on this floor, or at least is not going to have greed in it because we have Gluttony here. Gluttony not as useful uh, when you're Blue Baby as he is when you're really any other unit out there. Because right, normally, like, Guppy is the best mini boss to fight, in my opinion, because of the drops that he can give you. Namely, free HP. And he's pretty easy to boot, uh, but... Uh, can't really take advantage of that free HP as... Well, I mean, you can, but it's really one spear at heart as Blue Baby. Big whoop. Now... I don't want uh, this bomb fly to die because if it bounces properly, I could save a bomb. Right, a cowboy. You know what? I don't have patience for that. <laughs> I thought I did, but I don't. My patience stretched uh, about as far as it took him to bounce twice. Uh, we can get into our item room without using a key, which actually allows us the opportunity to visit our shop. Yeah, I'm very excited to have Apicac. It, it's weird, I looked at it for a second and was like, is this even good? And the answer to that question is yes. I don't have any synergies breaking it right now, so I am super stoked uh, to have Ipecac, which really minimizes the need for uh, any other item. We can fly, we have a way to generate, uh, that was really bad. We have a way to generate spirit hearts, and we have super high damage. This is what we need, this is how you win a run. Things could still go wrong, but I think Ipecac is that, uh, that carry item we've been asking for. Squeezy, also very helpful. Now, it does change the balance a little bit. There's some enemies that are more problematic as a result of Ipecac, and there's some enemies that are an awful lot easier as a result of Ipecac. There's some rooms that are a lot easier as a result of Ipecac, and some rooms that are way, way harder. Like Mask of Infamy rooms, they, they can cut both ways now. If you hit the mask, the bomb explodes, which is what the problem is. Uh, Principally there. One more hit should do it here. And that'll do that. Okay, now we're Guppy too, is that correct? Alright. How can I say no? Obviously Guppy's paw, not really the most useful item for us uh, as Blue Baby, but to be Guppy now, we're gonna have crazy high damage flies, assuming that, uh, oh, what a nice dodge at the opening start of that room, but um, assuming the flies actually do damage, like, that synergizes with Ipecac, we're not going to be generating a whole bunch, because we're not going to be shooting that much. And if I had known that we'd become Guppy, I might have been a little bit less likely to take Ipecac for strategic reasons, but it still works out. It's just maybe suboptimal. Oh well. Still in a much, much better position than we were uh, even very recently. And everything comes up Millhouse. It seems like these last floors often have the tendency to really give you what you need. It's like a reward for surviving this long. See what we got in our shop. Uh, it's not the nun's habit, but the map is worthwhile in and of itself. Don't really want to buy the bomb. The dang, the dang diggy. Could be a special room over here. Wouldn't be surprised to find like an arcade. Uh, it's a curse room. I guess I'll visit it. It's only going to cost me half a spirit heart. Yeah, never mind. It's only going to cost me negative one and a half spirit hearts, is what I meant to say. We do have an arcade. So we actually can, I mean, we could be creative slash dumb. We'll get the Polaroid from this boss fight. Be smart here. We'll get the Polaroid from the boss fight. Uh, then we could come out and play the arcade, and with permanent Polaroid invincibility, we could probably get a ton of plays out of it. Um, but we'd only be doing it to gain the HP that we were losing anyway. So it kind of seems like the dumbest, but and, well, maybe not dumbest, but like the silliest way to spend HP on the market right now. This is over, pretty much. Yeah. And by pretty much, I mean definitely. In the crate, great item is Blue Baby. We got a Tears upgrade as well. Uh, the Hero Font, oh my god, this is actually like exactly what you want as Blue Baby. Of course we want the Polaroid. We'll Fool card out, and uh, then we'll walk back in here and see what we got going on. Sorry, Maggie's Faith, you've actually been pretty good for us, but we're, uh, we've outgrown you now. If you hit my flies one more time, I'm going to be so mad. Alright, you did it. I can't be held responsible for the reckoning that is uh, about to befall you. Look, nobody likes being on the Womb XL for a multitude of reasons. But here we are, so let's make the best of it. No more deals with the devil. Honestly, how greedy could you be? What more could I possibly want out of a blue baby run right now? Not altogether that much. 
We'll try to sneak through here. I really doubt this is going to help us find the boss room much faster, but there is a chance. This could be it, right? Ah, uh, no, it's not. Forgot about permanent Polaroid invincibility. That's a big part of this whole shebang. I'm trying to think about how to, like, even use judgment right now. If it's demon judgment, we'll get a lot of plays with uh, invincibility. You know what, attack fly, just finish it, thank you. Um, if it's not demon judgment, oh, I accidentally punched the monitor there. Uh, we have a lot of, not the monitor, the microphone. Uh, we have a, a lot of money that we can easily use to, to make that work. But we're not going to have a deal with the devil, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just use it. Doesn't let the Blastasis fight normally start with like the Blastasis falling from the ceiling? Uh, maybe we'll just use it like right here. Excuse me, if you could just die, that would be great for me. Super Bandage is a great item, and we got regular Judgment here. Let's try it out. He could give me the compass. Stranger things have happened. Well, we can take as long as you need. Death card we'll use later, but it's nice to have, I suppose. Uh, he gave us the coin purse. Coin purse has uh, one tears up. Oh, that's not a tears upgrade. That's a telepills, which has taken us uh, an awful long way away from where I want to be. But hey, more nail charges, I suppose. And you know what? If we wanted to, we could just... Oh, sweet. It's a spirit heart, sort of. Um, if we wanted to, we could just bomb our way out of all these rooms with Ipecac, but I don't think that's necessarily that important, considering, you know, we're doing all right right now. Oh, that was a, a dumb loss of a spirit heart. We got another key in the process as well. That's nothing to sneeze at. Now, there are more pills back there. I think one of them is the telepills. Come on. There we go. Hitbox, surprisingly unforgiving on those. The mom's hard fight is going to be crazy easy, I hope, at least. Uh, this one, we don't know. Balls of steel, wonderful. Luck up, sure, we'll take one of those. Because I'm too lazy to go back and get the second one and I want to keep the death card. You know what? Uh, just get attack fly to finish the job here. It's a little tricky. It's a good, uh, you know, exercise for the brain there. There we go. And now, this is where I'm pretty sure that this fight is basically over. Oh, the flies. The beautiful flies. Helping out so much. I'm surprised they can aggro from that far away. We're uh, going on up to the cathedral. If I had to guess, I'd say uh, top right for the boss fight. It's either top top right or bottom left, if I had to guess. And I do have to guess, because I don't have the map. Or I have the map, I don't have the compass, sorry. Well, you know what? While we're here, why don't we just check uh, and we check we have for our uh, boss trap room down here. We can just leave, but might as well get the nail charge. And uh, then we'll check over on this side just because we're here. And we'll use the nail appropriately. Yeah, Pretty much the exact same room, except it uh, should be easier. Less assholes. And easier assholes. And no boss room over here, but we tried. Took a little bit of dumb damage. Should be using our death card. Honestly, there's no reason to save it uh, for like a boss. It doesn't do that much damage. I'll check out our curse room. Full spirit heart loss, but we are not going to take any of these. We're just going to leave. We're already guppy. I think there's a spirit heart back there. It's okay. I don't need that evil. Let's just let's just go. I'm very confused about uh, where I am in my life right now in this run. Uh, yes. Okay. Because we can play it so much. It worked out and gave us the bomb bag, which I'm just going to leave. So that was pretty much an exact waste. I'm just going to use like a regular manual bomb here. Uh, and I'll open that because I do have keys to afford it. I can't believe we didn't find our boss room. That's probably not going to be that useful for me. Okay. Um... I mean, the bomb bag's not that bad. One of the main reasons I'm not taking it is because, you know, how many, like, stationary bombs are we going to need? We have 15, and we have unlimited uh, from Ipecac. We have 15 bombs that we can, like, manually put down. 
which are useful in certain situations. That might not have been one of them, but we used it anyway. Uh, but certainly, you know, if you're fighting like Lust or something like that, that can be very helpful. But I don't think we need to uh, mess with our consumable drops in order to make that happen. I think we're already at a pretty good number for it. And I'm pretty sure that we've won this run. Like, we have a really good setup for taking out the bosses. We have enough keys to get items on the chest. No rerolls, obviously, but that's okay. We have permanent Polaroid invincibility, and we can do stuff like this. Basically, every time we get hit, take out 30% of uh, Isaac's HP without putting ourselves at much of a risk at all. Can't really dodge. I mean, I guess I could. I don't have to really dodge, though. And this is already over. Just land that last shot, and we're going to be done way faster than I actually anticipated here. Mega Bombs. I don't think that affects Ipecac's damage. Uh, I know that Odd Mushroom lowers it, but it does give us more tiers, which for me, I prefer because it generates uh, more flies as well. This will be a good test here. Three-shotting Greed. Probably two-shotting if we uh, let him sit on it a little longer. On the poison damage, that is. Because there's Lust. That's why we have some manual bombs. Well, it's not why we have them, but it's one of the things I'm happy about, at least. We can kill Lust last. This might be one of those rare situations where that's actually completely plausible. Because it's actually harder to hit enemies that are right next to us. There we go. We ended up getting Poison Touch as a result, which is great with permanent Polaroid invincibility. Should be easy. For once, we're uh, actually going to be able to beat Pestilence at his own game. And again, losing this HP is pretty much meaningless to me. If we could just get... Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. One last, like, fall from you. We could try to have Attack Fly finish the job, or we could just do this. Please tell me this is the boss room over here. It is not. Well, you know what? F you. Oh, we can't bomb our way out. All right, well. Then we'll go through the motions. I wasn't going to leave anyway. It was a hollow threat. I apologize. I assure you. I was going to go through the due diligence. The boss room has to be on the right side here. I... Almost can't imagine it being anywhere else. It would just be a little bit too easy to find if it were. Oh, jeez. Another enemy that it's uh, pretty nice to use bombs against. Especially we can get like a sweet one-two combo there. You know, hit him with the... Excuse me. Hit him with the bomb. Hit him with the Ipecac shots. Uh, poison them with permanent Polaroid invincibility. Totally intentional. Didn't just get hit there because I'm bad. I promise you that. Definitely didn't get hit twice. It's just an extra long permanent Polaroid invincibility. Don't question it. Yeah, Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Look, I don't love that we had to do this, but we had to do this. I guess either that or like walk into it or... I guess we could have just flown over it, but it's not like that would have saved us any HP. It's weird that we have a Wrath and Super Wrath on the same boss fight with like three, but we've won. Uh, and in fact, we're going to have the nail charge again appropriately in time for the blue baby boss fight. Which pretty much is, uh, if we weren't already guaranteed a win, is going to guarantee us a win even harder. So there's the death card. I finally used it. And we will just tank whatever we have to tank. Whenever we get hit, which should happen like right now, yeah. we'll walk up, get the poison damage done. And this was a very good blue baby run. Like, I can't complain at all. We even didn't pick up Mom's Knife. We forsook it and still ended up coming out uh, very, very easily here and in record time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.